You're watching Good News Mayflower with Matt Sanders. With the firing of conformist newspaper editor Anderson Culley, some say the conformist is better than ever. There is no thieves. Anderson Culley is both. This administration rewards excellence. In fact, congrats to Mindy Lawton, the new conformist editor-in-chief. I am humbled and honored to receive this great position. I vow to bring up the standard of the conformist and blot out the black eye given to it by its previous editor. And congrats to Model UN President Libby Martin, who is on a tour of the Capitol. She'll be gone indefinitely. Both have served this administration well, and neither ever lied or stole like Anderson Coley. Lies. All lies. I quit. She lied about my exit because the editor of her newspaper quitting doesn't make her look good. Some people knew Quan was lying. However, Quan's loyal fans were louder than ever. President Quan is nothing short of a hero, a superhero, saving the school one decision at a time. I shudder to think where we'd be if Miss Quan wasn't president. Telling the truth about Quan would be enough, but I wanted to strike back. I wanted to make up lies about her, the way she lied about me. Thankfully, Governor Miguel had some thoughts on the matter. God knows it's hard for us to always know the right thing to do. Thankfully, he has given us the Holy Spirit to direct us on his path. We will succeed if we listen and step forth in that spirit. Lies about me, behind me, and got to work on a story. When I left the conformists, I brought a stack of stuff for my desk. On top, there was a photo of Jose, who had been on a chess tour for weeks, which, thinking about it, seemed odd. There was something very familiar about that photo. Then it hit me. That was a photo of Governor Miguel shaking hands with Quan. Quan stuck Jose's head on the photo. Rats! Quan was hiding something. I did some digging. Guess what? Jose's been home sick. Got me wondering. Model UN President Libby Martin is on a tour of the state capitol. She was sick too. Turns out Libby had been taking Jose's homework to him. But why did Haley lie? Rats! It was a cover-up! If there was a rat flu problem, more students were sure to get sick. Possibly the whole school. It looked like we were on the verge of another huge story.